<laughs> Come on, gang ground! All right, here we go, another video. So this time we're talking about, we got all the people loaded up in a, a Jeep. We went down to some wrestling. This local wrestling uh, organization is called Reality of Wrestling in Houston. They're actually pretty good. I lo they're local. I guess they're local. I don't know. We just went to the damn show and uh, small wrestling circuit, but it was pretty good. Oh, it knocked the shit out of them! Oh. Knock his ass out! Ola, uh, Hillbilly Grimm set this up. He got everybody tickets months ago, and he's like, yeah, y'all want to go to that shit? I brought everybody tickets, and the day of, I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot about that shit. We all loaded up. Then again, this Hillbilly Grimm guy, you never know about this guy. We didn't thought he was full of shit. This guy is a very unhinged individual. That's for damn sure. Hey, fuck you, you Hillbilly fuck motherfucker. Fuck Shit, this stupid ass motherfucker, he, uh, his fucking, uh, <laughs> he had a, this is, this is unrelated. It's actually, he's probably going to get pissed that I'm telling this story, but I don't give a shit. He had a sister when he was a kid and she was alert. This is, I, I'm getting off topic. I'll get to the wrestling, don't worry. But I like to always put interpersonal stories in there because they're pretty fucked up and I find it funny. I, I guess it's not funny. It's really not, but you may think it's funny. He had a sister who was allergic to uh, peanuts and certain nuts and whatever. And she had to have one of those damn needles you stick in her to fucking... I don't remember what the fuck it's called. That goddamn shit. People are allergic to shit. You stab them in the leg to give them an adrenaline boost or some shit to get them out of that shit. I don't know. I'm talking ignorant out of my ass, but she had that shit. And uh, apparently one day they were at their house and she had an allergic reaction. Somebody, she ate some Chinese food. She didn't think nuts were in there. Something started having a re reaction, choking and shit. And his dad was all fucked up, drunk as shit. He didn't know what to do. He got that needle and was panicking. Stupid motherfucker. Instead of sticking her leg, he stabbed her in the throat with that fucking needle uh, and, fucking, and, and fucking killed her. <laughs> I know it's not funny, but the drunk-ass motherfucker ended up stabbing her in the neck trying to help her and kill her. And, oh, man. I, so they don't talk. Fucking Hillbilly Grimm they don't even talk to his dad anymore because that motherfucker's nuts. I think he done, who knows, he may have shot himself by now. Anyway, let's get to the wrestling. Okay, so we go there. We all load up. First, we go to fucking, fucking uh, Nocturnal Penetrator's house. Everybody's drinking and getting drunk as shit. That motherfucking goddamn son of a fucking bitch! How do you put this goddamn window down? Somebody threw a fucking whiskey bottle through the window, which I don't know why. That always happens every time we have a party. Somebody throws a bottle and shatters it everywhere. We load up, drink in, and then that fucking Hillbilly Gr Grimm is driving. Everybody loads up in his fucking vehicle. He's going on the road, wide open road, listening to music real loud, screaming and shit. I wasn't paying attention. The son of a bitch was going down the fucking road the wrong way, like 80 miles an hour, wide open, going the wrong way, and all these cars are coming this way, blowing their fucking horns. I thought we were going to fucking die before we even get there. I don't know, man. We're going to go to this motherfucker. Motherfucking truck. These motherfuckers throwing all this goddamn shit. Get Let's get this car. motherfucker. Get Let's get this motherfucking get goddamn car. son of a fucking get bitch. Fucking motherfucker. Get God, car. fuck this get shit. Finally show up, and then the stupid motherfucker... He can't find the tickets on his phone. He's all freaking out, and, and he got mad and threw his phone across the parking lot and broke it because he couldn't find the fucking e-tickets, but... Ah! Bad street, motherfucker! Fuck you! Yeah. Fuck the world! I'm gonna die tonight! Bad street, motherfucker! He ended up walking up to the front uh, booth or whatever the fuck it was, and they helped him out, got him the tickets for everybody. So we're waiting out in the car after all that shit. See some other idiot in the... Spinning out in the parking lot, lot cutting donuts in a fuck with little cheap ass foreign bullshit cars. You, you get a real fucking hot rod, get a fucking muscle car, American muscle motherfucker. But there was a little rice rod, little bee 
he's spinning out, cutting donuts. We're just watching, hoping he loses control and smashes in a bunch of shit, but it didn't happen. We watched that, and we finally go in, man. We started getting, I'm ready to fucking start getting drinks and get fucked up, and that damn, uh, Hillbilly Grim comes back, man. They said their credit card machine's down. So we're fucking pissed. We can't get any goddamn drinks. Finally, they fix it. We're getting drinks. We're getting fucking loaded. And we're just screaming all kinds of shit, yelling. Do it! It's time to bust that shit up! Bust that shit up! We were yelling so much shit, I didn't realize how quiet the place was. And I guess we were just loudmouth motherfuckers. But I'm sure everybody enjoyed it because... We'd be yelling at those wrestlers, hey, fuck you, motherfuckers. And they'd just kind of look and laugh, you know, because they'd probably think of these fucking dumbasses. But, hey, we were helping out the show, making that motherfucker rowdy and shit. They're all crazy, yelling stuff and slinging shit all over the place. And that fucking hillbilly grim went and threw up all over the wall. Not in the bathroom, in the wall back in the back where it was dark, just puking. It was all running down the walls, laughing. Then this motherfucker, uh... Started talking to some fat sack of shit, and he went out to his car, and some big-ass woman, well, I guess he fucking put her in the back of, it was in her, she had a pickup truck, and he fucked her in the back of a pickup truck, and left her there, and she was all drunk, and he fucked up his knees getting back there, hey, that's how it always goes, man, but uh, yeah, reality wrestling, or what the fuck was it called, oh yeah, I got the ticket right here, reality of wrestling, it, it was, uh, it was a pretty good show. We'll probably go check it out again. I'm curious to go see on the uh, website, see when the next uh, fucking match is happening. Man, some matches were better than others. There were some that were really fucking good matches. Some were pretty shitty. We can tell they were it, it, like they were just out of fucking wrestling school or something. It looked shitty. But I mean, of course, everybody's got to learn somewhere. So you can't, you know, that they're they're doing these small leagues to to hone their craft, so to speak. But there were some of them motherfuckers, man, they were, it's pretty damn good. Some athletic shit, getting their asses slammed. Some motherfucker looked like Gangrel, you know, Gangrel, ah, fucking vampire from WWF. Some motherfucker looked like that, and at the last match, he was laying on the concrete, bust, all busted the fuck up. Come on, Gangrel! So I don't know if it was real or he really fucked himself up, but man, that was the night, man, that we fucking left and listened to fucking Bad Street USA screaming out the window and I remember when he's got all this fucking wrestling bullshit. Almost got thrown out these motherfuckers are all drunk and shit, this motherfucker. I go. I'm ready for a shot of whiskey in this motherfucker. I didn't put this goddamn window the fuck down. I can't put the fucking window down. Hey, this motherfucker don't fucking work. After that, we went to some fucking taqueria. It was open 24 hours. There was drunk motherfuckers all over the place because everybody got out of the clubs. We're just in there hanging out, partying. Before we know, we're talking with a bunch of motherfuckers, and I don't even know who the fuck half of them were. Somebody offered me coke and all kinds of shit. Some bitches, some guys said, hey, man, you go fuck my, fuck my old lady, man. She's in the back, man. You pay me 20 bucks, but I'll let you do whatever you want. I said, nah, man, I, I got plenty of bitches lined up for myself. I don't need that shit. Oh, yeah, well, what's the other guy we knew? Hey, I got 20 bucks. And went back there and all these motherfuckers, there was a line to get in that, I guess it was a van or something. He had story of my fucking life, man. It's like a magnet. A magnet that attracts fucking psychos, man. We're in the, anyway, man, we're hanging out at that goddamn taqueria, getting fucking shots and shit. Some motherfucker was slick back here. Look, looked like a complete fucking dirty scumbag fucker was sitting at our table. He's like, yeah, you guys like drugs, man. Y'all like drugs. Y'all like seeing your shit. Man, so you better get the fuck away from him before I fucking cut your face with a goddamn box cutter. But, of course, he uh, he was trying to sell drugs. He sold drugs to a whole bunch of, whole table full of a bunch of fucked up ass looking people. But... You know what? That's all what life is about, man. Adventure, going out and getting fucked up, going to shows and punk rock and death metal and wrestling shows and talking to random fucked up people. Hey, that's what it's all about. And again, Drew's for not to keep dropping this story, but I still, in a nutshell, talk about Hell's Heroes. <laughs> I tell this story all the time. It's so fucking funny. We're all getting lit up. We tell Drew's for at Hell's Heroes. Between bands, when it, it started thundering or something, right? Went outside of the show, told him, hey man, let's go back to Airbnb, man. They got fucking whiskey and tequila. Come on, man. And he was about to go, and I saw him talking to his wife, and she went, 
She's probably saying, fuck that. Those people, fuck those people. <laughs> I told this story before. And I'll say it again. It's fucking hilarious, man. Fucking funny ass shit. Anyway, man, that's that shit. More shit coming. We got some goddamn motherfucking wrestling. And mother... Ah, 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 you son of a bitch. Triple left hook, motherfucker. Triple left hook, motherfucker.